So you might wonder why I'm going. I started at 13 miles here to get to one single person. <laughs> and it's like, does that make any sense whatsoever? And it does when you have the Prop 22. Because Prop 22 guarantees active online mileage at 34 cents a mile. That's huge. Add that up. So I'm actively driving 13 miles right now at 34 cents per mile. And get, two miles to keep to left person. to stay on California 99 South. That's huge. The other aspect is I'm getting 120% of minimum wage, which in California is bumping up again, but it's 1860 right now. So out of all of that, it's worth my while. It's worth my while to go drive an extra 13 miles to get to these people because I'm active online the entire time, the entire session I'm active. Do I need to rush? No, I don't. I, mean, I need to be cordial and enjoy this, but I also am able to use the autopilot. Got my hands free. I'm ready for any emergency situation. Got this person in front of me trying to compete with me. They don't even know I'm on autopilot. <laughs> I'm on my way to, I'm making money right now. And um, so you have these people who live in this grand illusion of what they perceive, what they see month, from the surface. To stay on and then South you have those who are actually in, in the process month, of doing stay on California 99 South using the left two lanes. So this is a very rare video where I'm, I'm doing uh, myself on a uh, actual call. But 24 to 28 dollars an hour, and this is approaching closer to 28 an hour with Prop 22. Um, Keep left to stay on We're doing something that seems south. redundant, superfluous, and yet it's not. Just being online, being active, and actively going toward a uh, ride counts toward the Prop 22. And doing the high mile rides, well, do the math. I mean, I'm, I'm averaging $28 an hour by just going on this little excursion. So is it worth it to me? Absolutely. Am I only going to give in five hours today? Yeah. If I have the energy, I'll do maybe eight hours. But um, either way, five hours averages out the same. Every now and then you gotta nurse it. You gotta bump it up a little bit, but you don't have to do anything too, too extreme. gurney up there and I was like this person's having an attitude ego ego will kill you ego will destroy you false ego and really out of the utility of the utilitarian society that we live in the sociopathic sociological construct of a neo-feudalistic colonization hybrid which is all of us here we are here we are going through this together I'm in absolutely zero hurry if people are planning properly and giving the proper amount of time um, but it's kind of like I'm getting paid either way. So 
So I, I appropriately give the amount of time that I need to. I got online at 7.30 this morning. I'll probably be logging out closer toward two or three in the afternoon. I've got plenty of charge. I don't want to use too much of my charge up. Just keeping the AC going is an extra added expense. And so things are doing really well and you just have to do diligence and stick stick with it, you know? But yeah, we still got, <laughs> we still got three and a half miles before we're even to the exit that we need to get to. need to kick on other people's burdens or beef or their insecurities I'm not part of this sick toxic human family I had a dream that just made me filled me up with such warmth last night that my toxic um, thieving she stole $50,000 from my son on paper and that's something that we're going to have to contend with and deal with in the months to come. But I have to get my, I have to focus on security. I have to focus on now, you know, and I have to focus on the fact that his benefits are on the line because someone else uh, manipulated him as a special needs person. And she's pushing, she's 80 years old. And these dastardly, terrible people that used to be called my parents long ago, um, I had, I had a dream that my father was, that my mother was telling me my father was dying or had died. And I was like, instantly to be filled with such warmth that justice is being served and that you see implications of justice, at least in a time signature. You got to understand what these people represent, what they do. And, um, you know, I, I have total compassion for in two miles, take when right I see a carcass on the side of the road, California I think that, or, or I see an opossum, a opossum dead, I realize those little babies are starving to death. Some may survive. And you realize the harshness of the world, but really it's, it's people. It's a person who ran over that opossum. It's a person who decided to forego principles and sacrifice their children for a meager uh, promise of when you get into success, it's really security that you're after, but that somebody doesn't have the forethought or the philosophical understanding, you know? A lot of people study philosophy and think they're going to become privy to information that will put them in a power position, but you're stuck in these samsara meat suits, and the only thing that matters, and I come back to this over and over again, is, yeah, you guessed it, purity, principles, following and adhering to those principles and understanding that th that is your Lord. That is your God. Your God is purity. Your principles are your Lord. And wherever you may end up, that's who you are, you know? So as Jesus says in the Najumadi, you know, everything must go back into his roots and does. Well, you need to be connected to a different set of roots, 